Simply put, a loop pedal is a signal routing device, and it's very simple. The signal goes into the pedal here, and the output is here. When the effect is switched on, the signal goes from here to the send, out to whatever you want to send the pedal to, send your uh, guitar signal to, and it returns here and then goes out to your amp or to another pedal. This type of device has uh, several uses. It's especially useful for old effects like old wahs or old fuzz pedals that don't have true bypass circuitry. You put the old wah or the old fuzz in the loop and you can control the on and off with this pedal instead of the pedal itself. What this does is when the pedal is not in use, it preserves your tone. It preserves the guitar signal. This device is made with a alpha triple pole double throw bypass switch, switchcraft jacks, and it's all made inside of a Hammond 1590A enclosure. This enclosure is powder coated from the factory and this is one rock solid little piece. This little device will most likely outlive you. I'd like to take a moment to demonstrate this and uh, I'm gonna hook it up and show you what it does. I've got this unit hooked up to my overdrive pedal. Right now the signal is bypassed. See no change. Now when I engage the pedal, you can see that it routes the signal to the pedal back into the output and to my amp. I'm running my trusty Telecaster into a 65 Deluxe Reverb reissue. I'm recording this with a blue Snowball microphone, USB mic, into Adobe Audition running 48K, 24-bit, just to give you an idea of how well this pedal is made and that it actually preserves the guitar signal. This unit is especially useful for pedals that don't have true bypass. We've all experienced cheaper pedals or older, older pedals that uh, when they're in the bypass position, they just kind of steal something away from your guitar tone and most of us as guitar players really want to keep that tone intact. So this is just, just to kind of demonstrate what the pedal does. Okay, now let's say you didn't just want to put an overdrive pedal in there. Let's say you wanted to put a whole set of pedals. Maybe you like to turn on two, three, maybe four pedals to do a solo boost during a song. You can just hook all these pedals up in line the way you like them and you can control them with one switch. I think this is also especially useful for wah pedals where you don't want to engage the wah in the topmost position. You can leave it in the bottom position and use this pedal to turn it on and off so that you don't experience that initial nasally high-end wah sound. This pedal can be used backwards or forwards and what I mean by that is I could put the guitar in here, send it from here, return from here, and then output to the amp. It's a completely passive unit. There's no battery, no light, just a simple passive all true bypass circuit. Okay, now what I want to do is show you just how well this device preserves your guitar tone, your guitar signal. So right now it's in the off position, meaning the signal is going from the input of the guitar to the output to the amp. Now if this unit is built the way it's supposed to be, which it is, then when, when I engage this unit, you won't hear any difference, any change in the guitar signal. And that's why I'm running this through a professional audio program at such a high resolution to show you that there's no change. And now the unit is on. As you can see, there's no audible change to the guitar tone at all. 
I hope this gives you uh, some insight into what these pedals are, what they do, and uh, thank you for watching.